friends welcome to learn sap fiu friends today we are going to discuss a release process what is a release process and how it is performed in a real time so today we are going to discuss that before going to start i request you all if you like the video so do subscribe and share the videos with your friends and don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you will get the notification of all my coming videos so let's start today's session now the question is what is release process the first question which is in your mind what is release process so friends the process of transport the request is called release process as whatever you configure in a transport request now if you wants to copy that or if you wants to release into uh, another client or another server so by this release process we are going to copy or release into another server or another client so what is the transport request i hope you all know because we have completed many of the topics of sap ficu or in each topic when we do any configuration we save the configuration in the transport request so the tr is used to copy or transport the configuration data from one client to another client and from one server to another server so the process of transport the request is called release process so today we are going to discuss this release process how to transport the request into another client or another server as per your requirement so now we discuss what types of transport request there are two types of transport request first is customizing request and second is workbench request what is customizing request so it is a client dependent request customizing request is a client dependent request to move the changes we need to copy or transport the request from one client to another client or from one server to another server because in a customizing request whatever we do the changes the changes we can copy from this transport request to another client or another server by copy that transport request now what is workbench request so the friends it has cross client impact within the server workbench request has a cross client impact within the server for example whatever the changes or whatever the modification saved in that server that can be seen in all the clients of that server we no need to copy into another client of the same server whatever the modification we saved in a workbench request so that can be seen by all the clients of that server that's why it is a client impact within the server and this is a client dependent request it saved in a one client only when we want to copy or when we want to see in another client so we have to copy or transport that request so it's all about these two requests now we go further for the steps in a processing how to release the process or how to copy the pro tr in a another client or in a another server so these are the key codes se09 or se010 these two t codes is used to create change display delete and release the tr from one server to another server by the t code sc09 or sc010 we can 
create a request, we can change, we can display, delete or release the transport request from one server to another server. So let's see how to perform this. Go to SAP screen, run the T code SE09. Now system is off. Let me restart the system again. Friends, I have logged in the system. Now we are going to run the T code SE09 or SC010. You can run it to copy, release, or to create a new transport request. So this is the window where we can create a new transport request by clicking on it or you can display all the transport requests which is created in this user id so you if you want to display so just enter your user id and press enter so these are all transport requests which is created in this user id this is all your customizing request and this is all your workbench request which is created under this and if you want to create new transport request so you can create it by clicking on it create system will ask to you which one you want to create customizing or workbench so whatever you want to create you can select that and then click on customizing request and continue so here you can create it pay term, pay term. Yes, friends, if you want to create a new transport request, click on this create. And which one you want to create, you can select it, customizing or workbench. Now click on continue. Here, give the short description like ABC and save. So your transport request is created. Now we'll get back. And then further, if when you want to save something in this, so you can save it. We we'll get there. Now we'll see SC09 in the same people. There are two options like modifiable and releasing. So, what is the means of modifiable and what is the means of release? When the transport request or when the request is in your server only, when the request is in your client or server, so that means that is in modifiable mode you can modify that so and when you release that transport request so that is your released so here you can see the request status and if you want to see all the requests so you can just click on display so it will show you now if you want to release it or if you want to transport that request so how to transport it so enter your user id and then click on enter then then select your transport request which you want to transport suppose i want to transport this abc which i have created now so just click on it so here you can see this is your main request and this is the sub request this is the sub request so select the sub request and then click on transport release directly click on this release directly so it will release all the customizing requests so here you can see the task has been released to the request it means this is your sub request is released now you click on this main request click on it main request and now click on this release directly so like this you can release your sub request and your main request It is processing. So here you can see the local request released. It means your request is released. 
and then now what you have to do in a real time scenario after releasing this request from here you have to give the request number this is your request number so this number you have to give to the basis team and the basis person or the basis consultant will allow into a another client in which you have in which you wants to transport it so this is the real time process 